Hello, I welcome you all in this course on mechanical measurement systems. Today we will discuss functional elements of instruments. The topic covered in the present lecture is classification of functional elements and I will give a few example on that. Now, I state, as I stated earlier, for the act of measurement we need instruments, without, without instruments we cannot do any measurement. Your body, human body is also a sort of measuring instrument, right. We have senses, we have senses, we have five senses, right. We have skin which can sense, we have eyes which can, which can sense as a, or which can work as a sensing element because every instrument must have a sensing element because without sensing element you cannot do any act of measurement. So, body is having five sensing elements, we have a skin to sense, we have eyes to sense, we have nose to sense, we have tongue to sense, we have I mean uh, uh, ear to sense the voice, oh, right. So, if you consider human body, it is a very good example of instrumentation and very advanced instrumentation which we have not evolved as, as a human being, artificial we could not evolve such type of uh, measuring system. For example, our hand, suppose I want to have similar type of artificial hand, I will have to put millions of sensors on the skin, right. Millions of the sensors on the skin and all the sensors will be passing through conductor uh, all the signals from these sensors will be passing through the conductor to the brain and I mean the, the system will be very I mean complicated, right. But the nature has made this system, I mean even if you destroy the sensing element, if, if the, the sensing element is damaged, it is regenerated, especially your skin. The skin if it is damaged, it is regenerated. So, our body can also be considered as a very good example of uh, uh, measuring instrument. <laughs> in engineering application, there are number of variety of uh, measuring instruments depending upon the type of application. Now, in mechanical engineering, most of the time we come across the instruments used for temperature measurement, instruments used for uh, pressure measurement instruments used for uh, acceleration, right and torque, force, right. If you go for electrical engineering, they have other type of instruments which are used for measuring the impedance, electrical resistance and number of uh, parameters. So, they are I mean lacks of the instruments which are used for variety of application. Now, as an engineer our job is to improve the performance of the instrument. First of all, uh, first of all we should understand the working of the instrument, then our job is <coughs> to improve the performance of the instrument, improve the reliability of the instrument, right. So, every instrument some have, have some mandatory elements. And every instrument because ultimately the ultimate aim is to develop a generalized configuration for the instruments. If we have generalized configuration for the instrument, then we can think of improving the performance of the instruments. So, in order to evolve generalized configuration of the instruments, the instruments, the, the parts of the instruments have to be classified, right. And in, 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 in so, there is an effort <laughs> towards that by which we can uh, evolve a, a, a generalized configuration for the instrument and in that effort we have classified the elements of the instrument. So, classified elements of the instrument, the first element is primary sensing element. Now, what is primary sensing element? The primary sensing element of the instrument is the part of the instrument which first come into contact of measurement. Now, what is measurement? Measurement is the object on which the measurement is being made, 
this room can be a measurement my body can be a measurement anything anything which is <coughs> on which the exercise of measurement is being done is known as measurement measurement and there is a primary sensing element the primary sensing element of the instrument comes into the contact with the measurement measurement suppose i want to measure the temperature of this pool right and this is measurement so the bulb of this thermometer is primary sensing element it is known as primary sensing element i want to measure the pressure in a vessel diaphragm of a pressure gauge is primary sensing element so any any part of the instrument which comes into contact with the measurement is primary sensing element for a very good measuring instrument the primary sensing element should withdraw minimum amount of energy for example suppose in a glass i want to measure temperature with the help of a thermometer and the thermo suppose thermometer takes away 30% of energy for sensing the temperature the temperature will go down so glass is having water at temperature of 60 degree i put a thermometer the moment i put a thermometer thermal capacity of the thermometer is high so the thermal capacity high it absorbs a lot of energy and temperature reduced from 60 to 55 degree centigrade so the minimum disturbance should be caused by the primary sensing element in the measurement in fact it should be negligible or it should be it cannot be zero so it should be negligible so primary sensing element is a very important part of any measuring instrument but now the primary sensing element may not come in contact with the measurement because nowadays <laughs> there are contactless devices are also available so in contactless devices also the part of the device which picks the signal is primary sensing element so nowadays it is not necessary that the primary sensing element should come into contact with the measurement but it is a part of the instrument which picks the signal and the signal should cause and this act of measurement should cause minimum disturbance in the measurement that is the best kind of uh, measurement so while designing a primary sensing element as an engineer we have to ensure that minimum amount of energy is absorbed in this act of measurement now second is variable conversion element the variable conversion element convert converts one form of signal into the another form of signal for example if you take spring right the spring can convert force into distance but variable conversion element should not i mean should maintain variable conversion element should maintain the original nature of the signal original nature of the signal should not be disturbed right so there is a variable conversion element and the variable a system can have a number of variable conversion element not only one a system system can have a number of variable conversion elements and the purpose of variable conversion element is to convert one form of signal into another form of signal because force we cannot see but displacement we can see because if i put a indicator here then displacement i can measure but force i cannot see right so for the act of measurement at least <coughs> the the observer it should observer should be able to see the change in the uh, units or if it is a i mean nowadays most of the data are acquired by the data acquisition system or they are electronically stored so all the signals nowadays they are converted into the digital signals right and output of nowadays transducers are used in most of the applications now transducers by definition the transducers are are the devices which for convert one form of energy into the another form of energy the output of these electronic devices whether we want to measure the pressure even the temperature transducers are there pressure transducers are there and you find number of measuring instruments they are giving output in the form 
zero to ten volt DC. The output of the transducers either it is in the form of zero to ten volt DC or four to twenty milliampere. It depends. It is a choice of the consumer whether you want to have this one or you want to have this one, right? <coughs> Now, if the signal has to be transmitted for a for of place, normally this type of output is preferred. But when we are after the accuracy and the data acquisition system is very close or the to the to the base end, then we can go for zero to ten volt DC system. In details, these things we'll be discussing when we will discuss about the data acquisition. Now, here we will focus on. Variable conversion element. So the the purpose of the variable conversion element is to convert one form of signal into the another form of signal, and it maintains the basic nature of the signal. Now third is variable manipulation element. Variable manipulation element. Now, variable manipulation element does not change the nature of the signal. I mean, if it is displacement, it will continue to be displacement. If the signal is in current, it will continue to be in current. Or signal is in form of angle, then it will continue to be angle. But in this case. The original, still, the original nature of the signal is not disturbed. Suppose the output deflection is two degree. Two degree is difficult to read, so it will be amplified to, say, let us say twenty degree. So that will increase the accuracy of the measurement also. Suppose displacement is point four mm, zero to point four mm. So displacement will be changed to zero to forty mm. right so these type of elements are known as variable manipulation element a third one is sorry the fourth one is data transmission element So, data transmission element means transmission data from one point to another point. Uh, cables, cables are uh, data transmission element, but here also during data transmission, original uh, nature of the signal should not change. So, cables are data transmission element. Uh, shaft, shafts are data transmission element because at one place. Suppose there is rotary motion at one place, it can be trans transmitted to another place using a shaft. Belts can also be, or bands can also be a, 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 a sort of uh, data transmission element. And fifth is data presentation element. data transmission element and data presentation element obviously the data presentation element is the dial of the dial gauge or uh, computer screen computer screen can be a or the video screen can be a data presentation element so much advance has been taken place recently in this data transmission element and data presentation element and but the primary sensing element is very important because through primary sensing element the sense the, the, the signal is coming into the measuring instrument and the act of measurement is being done if there is a problem with the primary sensing element the entire process of measurement will be disturbed right so we will take one example how we can break an instrument into different type of uh, 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 components of uh, measuring instrument. So, we will take one <laughs> pressure gauge, very old type of pressure gauge, a rudimentary, which is not a rudimentary pressure gauge. So, rudimentary pressure gauge, earlier 
suppose there is a vessel uh, which is filled with some fluid right and a pressure gauge is fitted in this vessel a pressure gauge is fitted in this vessel This is the housing of uh, pressure gauge and it is a piston type of there is a piston type of arrangement there is a piston here and it is the fluid is exerting pressure this this fluid is exerting pressure on the piston right and this piston is connected with the spring there is a spring here with the help of a stylus and is connected with the spring it is pressing the spring and in between there is an indicator and there is a data presentation element also so this indicator is indicating the pressure of this dial and it is it is a, it has divisions so when this piston is lifted when the piston is lifted this stylus will move this stylus will move right and it is hinged here so it will it, it will act as a lever and it will indicate the pressure in the uh, vessel so this is a rudimentary type of pressure gauge now i will do the analysis of uh, this uh, pressure gauge we'll start with the primary sensing element so here obviously the piston which is it is piston which is coming in contact with the fluid right and it is exerting pressure on the piston so when the fluid is so the measurement is here measurement so measurement is fluid the fluid is exerting pressure on the piston and so the primary sensing element is piston primary sensing element and the signal is in the form of pressure on the piston now this pressure is converted into force by piston itself so not only acting as a primary sensing element piston is also working as variable conversion element so because it is converting pressure into the force so piston is converting is also working as a variable conversion element because it is this is piston because the force which the pressure which is exerted because we are measuring the pressure the primary signal is pressure so pressure which is being exerted on the piston is being converted into the force right so this is not only primary sensing element so one element can act as a primary sensing element and variable conversion element as well right a system can have number of can should have one primary sensing element but it can have number of uh, variable conversion element a system can have a number of uh, variable manipulation element a system can have a number of uh, data transmission element because it is it is possible that a data may be required to be transmitted from uh, one position to another position a system can have different data presentation element you can have suppose there is a pressure gauge you are fixing pressure gauge on a vessel the display can be on the near the uh, pressure gauge also you can have display on your computer you can store data in a cassette 
so <laughs> nowadays with the modern technology you can have n number of uh, data presentation element but he, this is a very rudimentary type of pressure gauge so here the piston is working as a primary sensing element and variable conversion element then the piston is exerting force on this rod <coughs> this is variable piston is exerting force in this rod and at the same time the force is converted into the displacement because the rod is being lifted with the act of uh, pressure so this here it is also working as it is also working as data manipulation element so data manipulation element is here and after data manipulation the rod is pushing the spring rod is pushing the spring so rod is transmitting data from piston to spring since rod is being is, is is transmitting data from piston to spring so this is known as data transmission element that is rod rod is acting as a data transmission element and <laughs> data transmission element and then what is happening here spring is getting compressed or depending upon the direction of the motion or it is getting expanded right and here there is a indicator right and this indicator what it is doing small displacement it is multiplying right when 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 small displacement it is multiplying then it is known as variable manipulation element so data manipulation element data transmission element and variable manipulation no data variable manipulation element variable transmission element data transmission element and then again manipulation element because the signal is being manipulated and after that we have observer after we have this is uh, data presentation element this skill is data presentation element and then i am standing before it i am an observer so data presentation element and then observer so this is how we can uh, break the number of this 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 measuring instrument in a number of elements and we can do the analysis of each uh, element as well so this is how we can uh, uh, break this uh, uh, pressure gauge into the number of uh, elements uh, in a nutshell i will explain again this is pressure pressure is being converted into the force by the piston this this is by uh, variable conversion element is piston is also working as a primary sensing element and variable conversion element this force is transmitted to the spring here the force is converted into the displacement and this displacement is again manipulated for the indication on the dial gauge right now in old days i will give you another example also regarding this suppose there is a vessel i want to measure temperature in this vessel because these are the instrument they are very old instrument nowadays they are not used but we are they are very good to understand the elements of uh, uh, functional elements of any uh, any instrument so there is a pressure thermometer so there is a bulb so there is a bulb and the bulb is connected to a bore on tube 
P O U R bored on tube and bored on tube and then there is a linkage and then there is an indication. This is this vessel is filled with water for example. Right. So, here what happens when the temperature of water changes it rise or falls correspondingly the pressure it is filled with the fluid this tube is filled with the fluid. And the, the characteristic of the border tube is when the pressure in the border tube increases there is only literal increase in the dimension of the border tube there is no increase in the diameter of the border tube right. So, this tube is being used here in this vessel or in this capsule the fluid is filled ok. The moment the temperature in the vessel changes the pressure in the bulb will also change. The moment the pressure in the bulb changes the pressure in the bourdon tube will change. The tube will get elongated suppose there is a rise in temperature suppose there is a rise in temperature here the tube will get elongated the moment the tube will get elongated it will exert force on this lever and there is going to be movement in the arm of this lever right and there is a linkage and finally, there is a movement in the pointer of uh, this pressure gauge sorry this temperature gauge temperature measuring instrument. Now, we will again here the measure end is temperature measure end temperature because we are measuring the temperature and when there is a change in the pre temperature. In this case the bulb is it is obvious and it is uh, uh, visible also that the bulb is in contact with the measure end. So, bulb is the primary sensing element bulb bulb is primary sensing element and it is also variable conversion element. Why it is variable conversion element? Because the bulb is converting the, the primary signal is temperature here primary signal is temperature here. So, what the bulb is doing? The bulb is converting temperature into the pressure because it is a constant volume the, the volume is constant the moment the temperature increases the pressure will increase it is a constant volume process. So, bulb is increasing the pressure so it is also acting as variable conversion element bulb. So, here bulb is primary sensing element because it is taking signals from the measure end and it is also uh, uh, variable conversion element because it is converting temperature into pressure. Now, <laughs> this is tube and the signal through this tube the signal is transmitted to this place this is a tube. So, this tube is transmitting signal to this place right. So, the tube is data transmission element data transmission element tube and at the same time data is transmitted and the tube is elongated. So, in addition to the data transmission element the tube is also working as variable conversion element tube border tube. So, border tube here is doing two functions one is it is working as a data transmission element and the second is it is also working as 
वेरिएबल कन्वर्जन एलिमेंट नाउ मोशन स्टार्ट द मोमेंट दिस ट्यूब इज इलांगेटेड सपोज दिस इज देर इज राइज इन प्रेशर सो द ट्यूब विल बी इलांगेटेड ट्यूब विल बी इलांगेटेड राइट एंड देन दिस लिंकेज विल कम इन टू द एक्शन राइट एंड दिस लिंकेज वॉट दिस लिंकेज इज डूइंग एंटायर लिंकेज आई नॉट डील इट individually this linkage is just manipulating the motion right since this linkage is manipulating the motion so the linkage will be called uh, variable manipulating element because it is not changing the basic nature of the signal the the job the linkage is doing is it is simply uh manipulating the signal but because original signal is in the form of displacement the linkage is also maintaining it to be displacement right <laughs> and then this displacement is displayed on the uh, uh this uh, data presentation element so here the data presentation element is uh is the the dial of uh, the temperature uh, gauge and then there is observer so likewise we can uh, to, to break any me measuring instrument in a number of elements the benefit of this exercise is first of all we can understand the working of the instrument and the second thing is uh we can find a scope for the improvement if we make a number of elements and then we do the analysis of the elements then we can find scope for uh, the improvement in the performance of the element and the basic objective is in instrumentation the basic or basic objective is to develop a generalized configuration of the instrument because if we want to study the characteristics of the instrument instruments have two types of characteristics one is static characteristics and another is dynamic characteristics a static characteristics means the signal does not vary with time suppose temperature is in a pool the temperature is constant suppose in this room temperature is constant it does not change with time and then we do the measurement right and measurement the process of measurement may take i mean substantial time maybe one minute or two minute but the signal will not change signal will remain same that is known as static acquisition of the data or and in characteristics for such type of signals is known as static characteristics of the instrument now if signal is changing with time i mean the temperature in this room is varying let us say 0.1 degree centigrade per second right then will then then the response of the instrument will be known as the dynamic characteristics of the instrument that is all for today thank you very much